Well, surely now he's got to get the pink away from the black, hasn't he? Get the pink away from it. Don't, you don't need it over the over the black now. That's it. That's a smart play. Wow. As John Virgo would say, the things that happen on a 12 by 6. <laughs> We promised you drama, heartache and glory on Judgment Day. And we're seeing it all. Barry Hawkins on a little break of 18, trailing 8-7 against Jack Jones. Tepchaya Unnu is 16 points to the good in the decider against Ricky Warden. But it's nervy from both of the players on table one. Let's stay with this for now, though. Well, I think you can cut this in, Rob. I think this should be it. See Joey qualifies for the Crucible. He'll make his debut there. A good enough safety from Sean Murphy. He needed to get that red tight on the ball cushion. And he's going to have to have another go at it. Oh, that's oh, it. That was close. In Foul. the pocket this time. CJ Hui, four. Now oh, then. I was going to say, he still might hit it. That might be his last shot, depending on where this finishes. And look where the white's going to finish. Now, under the circumstances, this is some performance. OK, he beat Sean in the UK Championship, but to do it here in the Crucible, I mean, Sean was looking to be favoured in the deciding frame, but there's never a favourite. And what a performance he's put in against, well, the man of the season. I mean, Mark Allen and Sean Murphy have been unbelievable this season. But Sean will, uh, the gentleman that he is, he'll come forward and wish him all the best in the next round. He's the perfect gentleman, is Sean Murphy. He's letting this player have his glory out there. Sean Murphy, but these players are getting a standing ovation, and he acknowledges that. And wouldn't it be something special if he could finish it off with a century break? And the youngest Nine ever century. world champion was just 21 years old, Stephen Hendry. This young player is just 20. What a way to clinch your match. Wow, what a kiss that was. What a kiss that was. Right in the middle. Oh, well, can you believe the way he's played that shot? And he's got plenty of it. A lot easier than this as well. But he seems to have all the momentum now, CJ Wee. What a win. Anthony McGill offers his hand. What a story here at the Crucible. I think it's favourite for this match, Luca, so you've got to live up to that, but what a pot. What a pot. Maybe Luca wishes he took the red on it. Oh, oh great oh. cue power, what a kiss that was. Great pot. What a terrific pot. And this boy, is that going to give him some confidence? It's what makes him so dangerous, isn't it? That he's willing to take on a pot like that. We battled and battled and ultimately won the day in the decider. 43. This match is much more open, but it didn't remotely 95. affect his determination to play it and pot it. For century number three. Brilliant. This would be impressive snooker for a crucible veteran. 
And if he wins this one, then he's going to be at least four frames clear going into the penultimate session of this match. Luke Brussel must be a little bit concerned at what he's seeing here. Absolutely magnificent. It's a good pot. Not ideal on the next red, but a chance at it. Three. Doubly good because you could see he was conscious of the balls beneath his waistcoat. Four. But he's that good a potter that he can retrieve those situations and he's done it again. It's close. It's close. When it's going your way. Oh. And that seals the deal in the second session to win it 6-2. It all adds up to a very commanding six-frame advantage. And he is within six frames, incredibly of being a world snooker finalist. Luca Brussel's going to need the heroics he produced against Ronnie O'Sullivan to get back into this when they come back tonight. Oh, we missed the black completely. Oh. I thought he played that perfect, you know. I thought I was just going to kiss the black and go in, but it just missed it. Now, what does Purcell play here? Could play the red as a shot to nothing. Every chance the black will cover it. Every chance he could go in off the black. The easier route is to stun the red around the angles, keep the keeper where he is, but I think he's going to go for this. Cue ball up the ball end. It's there. And he's on the yellow. Five points in front. The yellow would make it seven. Needs up to and including the blue. To book his place. Oof. In the world final. To play either Mark Allen or Mark Selby. Three. Four pots away from the biggest match of his life. Five. Eight. He is lit up this year's championships. He can be proud, see shall we, of everything he has done. But the race is run for him. Purcell just needs to put this blue in, which he has. There you see what it means to him. Oh, and the hand comes out. It has been a magical, memorable semi-final between Luca Purcell and Si Zhao Wei. What a fight back from Purcell, but what a championship from Si Zhao Wei. The standing evasion for both players. They can hold their heads high. The biggest comeback in crucible history there from Luca Purcell. 14-5 down. He wins it 17-15.